got it. Let's go inside and look at it. So this is the latch mechanism off that truck. This one goes to the door lock in the door for lock and unlock. Then this one is where that rod went down. When you lift the handle, it would push into this one. This one goes to your inside door for your inside handle, you know, to get out. And then this one is your inside door lock. So what I want to do, two things I want to do. I want to weld a piece in or weld something in, maybe just tack across here to prevent this whole mechanism from like locking by accident. I gotta figure out what I need to do there. So this this bar here is a lock mechanism. So that's unlocked. So up, up is lock, unlocked, down is unlocked. So I want to weld this thing in this position. So I might just take, do something to bridge this right here. I'm going to weld that in place. That will prevent this thing from accidentally being locked. Next, what I'm going to do, let me grab my cable, I'll show you. All right, so this is the end of like, uh, you know, a mountain bike cable for like changing gears. This this is more or less the cable here, but it's this end here. I've got a couple of these. So my idea is, see how I got it through that hole to where this, uh, you know, I'm going to maybe weld a bracket on the bottom here. And then I got, this is the BMX stuff I was talking about. We will put like an extra one of these cable ends down here. I'll thread it in. And then that will be the, the terminator for, terminator, whatever you want to call it for my cable end. And then uh, that'll be that end. And then we're going to have the, you know, this, this coming up here. So this will be here, and then that'll be there for this to pull down. On the other end, this is the motor, or I keep calling it a motor. It's a solenoid. I'm going to put a bracket. See, I flipped this around. It was the other way before. I'm going to weld the thing on here, do the same thing, put one of these right here, and set it up. Uh, this is one of them knurls, or narps, I think they call them. These go on the brakes for a BMX. Then you take you tighten down this set screw here, and then it prevents it from going anywhere. So uh, you know I'll put that through here, like uh, this. You know, put this on here, and then it can it can pull. So it would effectively work kind of like a brake lever on a on a bike, is what I'm thinking. So let me get started on this. I'm gonna weld this one on here first. I think this is gonna be the easiest piece. The easiest modification I've ever done to anything. So uh, let me get started on that and uh, see how this turns out. So here we go. I've chosen a small piece of angle iron. This is going to fit pretty well right in here. I'm trying to get better lighting on this. No matter what I do, the lighting sucks. Um, I got LED everything and, and it's just, I don't know. So uh, I'm going to weld this along here, I'm going to weld it down here, I'm going to cut this about here and put this little guy like right in there. So let me get this all marked out. I'm just going to cut this with a die, not a die grinder, an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and uh, should make quick work. And the piece that's left over, I'll probably weld on there like that or I don't know, like this to do that piece is all I'm thinking. I want to keep this kind of simple and uh, I don't want to overthink things. So let me go, uh, I'll mark this up and go from there.
Well, that was lucky. First one right off the bat. Try a different one just in case I'm wrong. So that thread is a six by one, M6 by one. Okay. M6 by one, these are so hard to read. Oh crap. That's it right there, I got it. All right, let's go tap a hole. So my M6 by one, it's looking like I need a 5.2 millimeter drill bit, which uh, I don't have metric drills, and I doubt it's in here. This kit has been ravaged so much. Yeah, these are all numbered. So let me get my... I hope I didn't drill a hole too big. Let's find out what I've already drilled it. So that's like a three and a half millimeter. Um, that's an eighth of an inch. Remember kids, this is for funsies, so we don't have to get everything like ridiculously accurate here. This is just to do something because this is a standard set here so let's see which one of these uh the one we have in the drill press is eight and we're looking for 5.2 so we're going to dial up 5.2 on here i know this is hard to see there's like clear coat all over it four five Right there. Okay, let's see which one fits. That one's close. That's the one right there. 13 sixty fourths. Just for the heck of it, this shouldn't fit. And it doesn't. Okay, let's drill this hole and then tap it. And of course I'm doing this because once I cut this piece out it's going to be hard to handle. So I don't have to worry about drilling and tapping this hole afterwards. I love it. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, let me cut this thing out.
This is why sometimes being left-handed sucks so bad. Everything's ten times more dangerous. Ah. Okay, well, we'll finish this up on the grinding stone. Okay, there we have it. Let's have a closer look at it. 